Thank you all very much for listening. It could be in the tundra, a desert, a forest, a boat, high on a mountain or out by the coast, an apartment, a terrace, a van or a castle, a tent, yurt or igloo. It really doesn't matter. But it must be somewhere where commuters stop and stand on their way home to marvel at another sunset and For the first time that day, making a mental note to phone in sick in the morning. <laughs> Where the Daily Mail declares its compassion knows no borders, champions the rights for asylum seekers, elects a teenage single mum's editor and proclaims the benefit system is the mark of a society not afraid to offer help to those in need. When she hears this news, Katie Hopkins looks like she's swallowed a wasp. Where politicians start speeches on British values by saying they spent yesterday watching the grace and beauty of swallows hunting over summer meadows and they lost themselves in it for hours. And the speech never got written. And sod it, it was worth it. And what is this nationalistic flag waving bullshit anyway? And when we vote for them, they say, no thanks, we'll be watching the swallows. And why don't we crack on these sort of things out ourselves? What we're capable of doing it without them. It could be in a farmhouse, a mansion, an empty plot, a hot air balloon or a racing yacht off Lundy, Fastnet, German by Trafalgar, Dogger, Cromarty. Yeah, all right. But it must be somewhere where we never forget we passed this way, but it was. And every day is another shot at redemption. Where the old and the weak and the dying are wheeled out each evening to feel the rain on their face in case they do not live to see the dawn. And each and every news bulletin starts with images of the miracle of birth to remind us what we're doing here. Where kids learn about homelessness and poverty in history books and ask, was slavery like dinosaurs, miss? And when the teacher asks them to imagine what it must have been like to bed down cold and hungry, and alone. Year nine find it so distressing she has to send them out to the playground to burn off their confusion. And over by the bike sheds, Sally gathers the others round and makes them swear that if ever the grown-ups invent a poverty again, they'll give them extra double mass of Mr Jackson until they promise to behave and then they get back to playing kiss chase and the playground rings with screams and laughter. And it could be in Guildford or Petersfield, Southampton or Fleet, just a place of our own, we can put up our feet. It could be North West Norwich, it could be South West Air, it could be Hell, Hull, Halifax. I don't care. But it must be somewhere with a bee loud glade <laughs> and a pub at hand where we drink by firelight, sit with friends talking, laughing, making plans, and we're up every morning at dawn looking through dew, watching the sun burn the mist off the gentle flowing river, or the rain hit the windows, or the snowfall, and all this won't even be the half. Because we'll be lying at night on grass under blankets, listening to cicadas, feeling moths brush against our faces, looking up at stars so numerous, can't begin to count them. And you explain the Big Bang Theory to me again. <laughs> and I nod and say, mm-hmm, in all the right places, but we both know I have an hope of getting my head round it. I just think it looks fucking fantastic. Where the world is filled with music and the symphony of silence. For an audience of millions and an audience of one. Where Simon Cowell is on gardening leave indefinitely. Where we will make love every day. In the morning, in the afternoon, whenever we bloody well want to. Make love with tenderness and with passion and with howling abandon and lie in the cooling sweat of each other's bodies and want for nothing more. And it could be in the tundra, a desert, a forest, a boat. High on a mountain or out on the coast, an apartment, a tent, a van or a castle, a tent, a or igloo, it really doesn't matter, but it must... 
and you're right. I haven't mentioned house prices or the mortgage tracker index ones, my love. And I haven't a clue whether the market is bubbling, booming, or about to burst. But the truth is, every time I try, I feel a little bit of me go belly up and die. And yeah, that isn't very grown up. And no, it probably isn't going to change. And all I can say in my defence is that with a handful of cable ties, a couple of rolls of gaffer, and a modicum of judiciously applied brute force, I can fix pretty much anything in my world that makes us quit. <laughs> because it's watching each other's backs and nurturing our abilities and covering our blind spots that makes us strong. And that has to count for something. And this is where I want to live my life. With you. Eating impossibilities for breakfast. Growing old together. With time passing so slowly we barely notice in a world we love still more each passing day. And where, when they wheel us out into the soft gentle rain of our last evening, the memories will jostle and tumble over each other <coughs> like water. And when we close our eyes that night, we'll believe we will wake next morning to do it all again. And we'll be laughing and dancing and dreaming forever. <laughs> <laughs>